We are gathered together here on the side of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in the covenant of marriage, which is honored and instituted by God. Dan and Laura, I want to remind you that marriage is a covenant, not a contract. A contractual relationship occurs when I negotiate terms with another person in order to benefit myself. It is an if-then kind of relationship. If the other person does what I want and how I want, then I'll choose to remain in the relationship. However, if the other person doesn't do what I want, then I can feel free to look for an upgrade, kind of like an iPhone, or even trying to get a better deal. Because of this, a relationship that is held together by a contract is fundamentally based on selfishness. A covenant relationship is born out of the way God relates to us. God has chosen to relate to us with covenantal love, promising us things like, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And this promise is not based on what we do or don't do. It's based on Jesus' free gift of love for us. Jesus came and sacrificed his own well-being so that we might have the life that is really life. In the same way that God relates to us, the two of you today are choosing, with God's help, to live in such a way that seeks always to benefit the well-being of the other, to put the other person's good before your own, to fundamentally choose to serve each other. In other words, it's an even-if kind of relationship. Even if the other person doesn't do or say what you want, in Christ you can still choose to remain in the relationship, to serve each other. One of our children's Bibles describes covenant love like this. It is a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever kind of love. It's a steadfast love. It's a love flowing from the very life, teachings, death, and resurrection of Jesus himself. It is therefore not to be entered into lightly, but reverently and humbly before God. forgiveness, honesty, courage, and faith. Dan, I bless you with continued love, laughter, and courage. Courage to communicate the honest truth about yourself and love to Laura, no matter what's going on around you. And that as you serve and relate to so many people, that you would never lose sight of how valuable and loved you are by Jesus himself. And Laura, I bless you with continued compassion, joy, joy and courage courage to be who Jesus is inviting you to be no matter what other expectations you may feel and compassion that understands and seeks to help others but that does not lose sight of how valuable and precious you are to Jesus I pray that both of you together will be a bridge for many to come to know the love and kindness of a good God who sent his son Jesus to prove his love for us Dan and Laura, the covenant which you are about to make with each other is a beautiful and sacred expression of your love for each other. The solemn vows which you are about to make are to be kept permanently. Steadfastly seek to do the will of God and your life will be full of peace and joy. And the home which you are establishing will abide through every change that life may bring. As you pledge your vows to each other and as you commit your lives to each other, we ask that you do so in all seriousness and yet with a deep sense of joy with the conviction that you are committing yourselves to a dynamic, growing relationship of trust, mutual support, and caring love. I'm first. Okay. Okay, I'm first. No, I love you. Yeah, okay. Laura, I love you. I am so glad you swiped right and said yes. Uh, you're truly beautiful, loving, and kind. I love your love for Jesus and for all people. I promise to say I love you multiple times a day. I promise to listen to you or to try my best. Uh, I am excited that we're going to have so many amazing adventures. Um, Dan, you are my best friend. I can't believe how lucky I am to have met someone who loves me and others so completely. 
You encourage me to be exactly the person that God created me to be, and I am the most myself when I'm with you. You love everyone who's in your life without conditions, and you have an enthusiasm for life that is contagious. You are strategic, intentional, aware, and caring. You have taught me the beauty of what it looks like to be in an equal partner relationship, where we both strive to support and encourage one another, and I feel amazingly lucky to call you my partner. You are everyone's biggest fan and cheerleader, and I can't believe how lucky I am to get to be yours. You communicate and listen so well, and you are always striving to learn and grow and be a better man. I promise to listen and encourage all of your ideas, to, <laughs> to ask you about your day every day, and to laugh at all of your jokes, even the ones that don't quite land. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I promise to never leave you, no matter what trials or sickness comes our way. All right, Dan, do you take Laura to be your lawful wedded wife? And will you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love, honor, and cherish her, and that forsaking all others for her alone, will you perform unto her all that a husband should give to his wife as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I do. I do. And Laura, do you take Dan to be your lawful wedded husband? And will you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love, honor, and cherish him? And that forsaking all others for him alone, you will perform unto him all that a wife should give to her husband as long as you both shall live. If so, answer, I do. I do.